Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This will be a past, present, future with clarifiers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Capricorn's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. All right, you're showing up with the Four of Wands. This speaks to the stability of a relationship, possibly a commitment, maybe a marriage, doesn't have to be. Followed by the Palace of Swords, unique to this deck. The Palace cards are where we go for the expert advice. And since it's the Palace of Swords, it has to do with the mind. We're going for clarity, truth, knowledge, research of some sort. And it's followed by the star. This is tied up to a divine wish of yours, something you desire very much. In the current energies, the chariot, all the willpower and drive to get to your goal quickly. Right at the heart of your reading, the Knight of Cups. This is all about expressing our emotions. And the Five of Wands, there's conflict here, battling, arguing, strife with oneself and or others. In the immediate future, we have the Sun, the happiest card in the tarot. Success, bliss, joy, all the good things. Followed by the Ace of Wands. This is an opportunity to take some bold new kind of action. And strength. S calling in strength because when things get difficult, you need all the strength you can muster. The overall energy of your reading, the King of Swords. Masterful decision maker right there. Making it from logic. The King of Swords lives right here at the palace. All the court cards of the suit of swords would reside at the palace, getting the expert knowledge. And the reason that we're here, ooh, there's been a tower, an epiphany perhaps, a moment of insight. Could be quite jarring, quite surprising, maybe shocking, destabilizing. We'll find out more as your reading commences. Let's take a look at the King of Swords and the overall. Why is it here? What does Capricorn need to know about the King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? Here it is, Knight of Wands. Wanting to take some action based on something you're passionate about. Five of Swords, winning at all costs willing to make sacrifices for this. Hmm. And the Hermit. We are shining the light in the dark, looking at everything that's in our way so that we can heal it, remove it, get it off of our path so we can move forward. Making logical decisions. Okay. The reason we're here, Five of Pentacles something's been abandoned or feels like it's been abandoned or there's some sense of lack here with the five of pentacles am i enough i don't know if i'm enough i don't know if i have enough i feel lost i feel forsaken forgotten about out in the cold something's going on here all right let's go ahead and take a look at the four of wands top left what about the stability of this relationship? What about it? What does Capricorn need to know with the Four of Wands in the recent past? There it is. The Hierophant could be a marriage, something significant here for you. Going back and forth, perhaps some indecision here with the Two of Pentacles, balancing back and forth. Four of Pentacles, holding on tight, 
okay holding on tight to this commitment to the significant uh, relationship here trying to keep the balance not letting go and the knight of swords taking action towards this relationship okay and the reason we're here the moon things yet to be revealed perhaps some buried emotions things that are in the subconscious things that are hidden secrets okay let's take a look at the palace of swords where we go to gain the expert knowledge we go right to where the king lives what does Capricorn need to know from the palace of swords please clear it up emperor how to control a situation how to strategize about a situation uh, that has a broken heart tied up to it lots of sadness and heartbreak there Queen of Pentacles self-care self-nurturing how can I heal this how can I control the situation what is the best strategy I need to heal I need to self heal I need to take care of myself nurture myself speaking of nurturing the most nurturing major arcana card right here the empress she is the balance of all four queens she is between the nurturing mother and this nurturing mother got a couple of nurturing mothers here Feeling empowered, the Empress is the perfect match to the Emperor over here. Power couple. But between this power couple is this heartbreak that needs healing. Perhaps that's why you're going to this Palace of Swords to, to learn how to heal and nurture This heartbreak here it's tied up to your significant other this relationship you're trying to hold it together but you want to take some action towards it that Knight of Swords also lives at the palace with this King the reason we're here we're feeling hopeful we go to the palace because we're hopeful to learn how we can heal this heartbreak that is between the Emperor and the Empress this perfect match okay possibly a marriage let's take a look at the star the divine wish something you really really want here why is the star here what does Capricorn need to know please Eight of Wands. Perhaps you'd like to get some communication going here. Five of Pentacles. There's that card of abandonment we saw underlying over here. Get the energy exchange moving here. Communication. Ah six of swords let's move on to calmer waters it is your divine wish and dream to get the energy moving away from the abandonment and the lack and the low self-worth and the feeling forsaken and lost and left out in the cold you'd like to move towards calmer waters here that is your wish to get the energy moving and not just moving but let's do this quickly because it really hurts to stay in this state of abandonment okay fair enough 
So you go to the palace to learn how to do it. You're willing to do whatever it takes to heal this thing. And you just, you really want to take the action or else you're just going to explode. You need to do this. This is, okay. I'm getting the sense with all the cards coming out now. Look at that. The reason we're here, King of Swords. Yeah, because this is the logical decision that you want to make. Okay. Surrounding what you want really bad. Okay. Let's take a look at this determination and willpower of the chariot. I'm sure you're driving it as the king. It's actually the chariot is owned by the emperor and the empress, but anyone can drive it. Taking this vehicle to victory, it is the fastest vehicle in the tarot. The chariot. What does Capricorn need to know about the chariot in the current energies? Vehicle to victory. How do we get there quick? Get there quick. Show us the chariot. Okay, this is what you're working on, what you're highly focused on. With the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the King of Cups. Staying balanced in your emotions, responding really well and really balanced in the midst of all the turbulence of whatever's going on between you two. Ten of Wands, but it's really hard to do, carrying this load. Yep. And the reason we're here, Page of Pentacles, but you're making the investment in it. Whether it's time, money, resources, whatever it is, this is what you focus on. This is what you're invested in. You want to get to your goal. You're very focused here. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups, please. Expressing yourself, expressing your emotions right at the heart of your reading. What does Capricorn need to know about the Knight of Cups, please? Knight of Cups. And we have the chariot again. Followed by the king of pentacles. And the sun. You want to get to your king of pentacles. This person that you are in love with is the master of managing all of the things. You see them as steady, as reliable. They could very much be a father figure. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Emperor, uh, Hierophant, all could be father figures. All the kings, any of the kings, King of Cups could be father figures. Uh, I don't think that all of them are your person. Uh, I think the King of Swords, King of Cups is you. But over here, I feel like this king is who you want to express your emotions to. Uh, who you want to drive this chariot towards, the vehicle to victory, to your goal, with all the determination and willpower you can muster. Why? Because they bring you the most happiness you've ever experienced in your life. The sun, bliss, joy, happiness to the nth degree. They're your everything. They're your sun. They're your joy. And uh, your universe like revolves around them. This is who you love. And this is what you want to express to them. The reason we're here, yeah, you are being called to express yourself towards them. Forgetting all the lower polarity energies, the fighting that you guys may have been through or the, the conflict, whatever's going on between you two, um, you just are, are ready to answer the call to rise above it so that you can express your true love to them. Yeah. That's how you see your person. Very steady, very reliable, wonderful, stable energy. That King of Pentacles. And you want to get to them as quickly as possible. Let's look at the Five of Wands coming up next. This is this is the conflict. This is the strife. This is the battle. What's going on? Why is the Five of Wands here? What does Capricorn need to know? Show us the Five of Wands, please. There it is. Okay page of pentacles learning about this um, 
this conflict, uh, investing in learning about it, and it's tied up to your soul connection here, the Two of Cups. It, the, you're fighting with your person. Learning to fight with your person, learning to have conflicts with your person, learning about the conflicts. Let's see what your third clarifier is. Queen of Swords, perfect match to the King over here, perfect match, Two of Cups, perfect match, the uh, Empress and the Emperor, they're all over the board, the perfect matches. So this Queen is about setting boundaries, setting rules, setting the, her requirements. Um, you're ar you guys are arguing about how to go about things, what the rules and boundaries and limitations should be what the requirements are but you're learning you're willing to learn I guess how to how to get through this how to clear this up calling in the Queen of Swords this is what I need this is what I require and it's causing conflict between you but but the page of pentacles is here willing to learn willing to invest what does it take to sort this out okay and the reason we're here death that means uh, something's coming to an end but it's not just ending and then it's disappeared it's transforming into something else so that's good because here we are we're learning we're learning how to get through the arguments and the battles by setting new rules, by setting expectations. That's what she does. The Queen of Swords makes the declaration. This is this is what I expect. This is what I need. Maybe we just need to clear things up with our expectations in this relationship because it is a wonderful match. And they do bring you the ultimate happiness and joy over here. Okay. Let's take a look at the sun coming up next we get to clarify this amazing joy and happiness in the immediate future the sun that's that's what you think of your person they're your everything I can tell show us the sun they bring you so much happiness and joy you feel that when you're with them show us the sun please what does Capricorn need to know there it is page of wands there's some sort of new interest here willingness to learn this has got my attention nine of wands boy all right this is uh, the wounded warrior we've been through the battle we're exhausted we're exhausted here we're tired of fighting tired of the conflict tired of the battle <sighs> feeling cautious all right but there it is the fool a new beginning a new start a new adventure learning how do we get how do we give our joy and our bliss a new start a new beginning putting ourselves out there taking the risk we may have lost some trust through the fighting we may feel very guarded but we want a new beginning we want a fresh start because we're hey we're motivated by the Sun and there's the Knight of Cups again right at the heart of your reading and it's the reason we're here now because we want to express our emotions hey I know we've been fighting but I want to start over can we just start over uh, my heart is open and my attention is here on the bliss the joy the happiness that that we share that kind of thing very nice let's take a look at the ace of wands coming up next the ace of wands this opportunity it's a new opportunity to take some kind of bold action here why is the ace of wands here what does Capricorn need to know about the ace of wands our backs disconnecting from something from some kind of love ace of wands it's a bold move 
to turn our backs on something. Somebody's turning their back here, walking away. They feel like there's eight cups here. It's not enough. I, I got to go someplace else. Bold action. New opportunity. King of Swords. There you are. King of Swords. King of Swords. reason we're here hanging man looking at our uh looking at not taking any action right now or action wasn't taken but here we have these opportunities two opportunities to take action walk away from what didn't work out in the past we can leave it Or we can take a different kind of bold action with the king. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's pull another deck. Let's clarify that Ace of Wands, that second one right there. Spirit, why is this Ace of Wands here? Walking away from something we love our backs, disconnecting from our emotions, taking bold and courageous action, a new opportunity to take some bold action towards the king, with the king, from the king, I don't know. What is this please? What is this ace of wands on the ace of wands? Watch if the, another ace of wands comes up. Okay, keeping some sort of balance, going back and forth back and forth between what and what oh, there it is page of pentacles but in reverse this is in the upright it's investing in something it's right here investing in you know learning putting time energy money resources whatever it is into something but here it is not investing so walking away taking a bold action going back and forth between not investing in something and looking at options, looking at our other options, Seven of Cups. Wow. The reason we're here, Two of Cups. The soul connection is right here. <sighs> Thinking about not investing in this, but going back and forth. That This right here, back and forth between this commitment and holding on tight. And possibly leaving. I didn't expect that. Interesting. Perhaps the I thought the king was you. Perhaps the king is your person. No, I feel like it's you. You know what? Let's clarify this king too. Clarify this king spirit. Tell me more about this king of swords. I felt like this was Capricorn. Making their... Taking bold action. But now I'm not sure. Show me, show me the king of swords. What does Capricorn need to know about this king of swords? Is this their person moving on? Or is this them making the choice to move on? What is this? What is this, please? There it is. New interest. It's right here. Page of Wands. Oh, look. The other ones came up. Wow, you're getting a little story here. Okay. Queen of Wands is in reverse. I assure you, all these cards were in the upright. It's amazing that that, that came out in reverse along with that other page of pentacles over there amazing okay so we have the queen of wands in reverse that's uh queen of wands is an attraction new interest but not the same attraction moving on somebody else blocking energy keeping unwanted energy at bay to be victorious there's the emperor again controlling the situation Taking action, taking action. Look at that. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands here and the Knight of Swords right up there. It's like moving towards or moving away. 
Wow, it's like all over the place here. And the reason we're here, there it is again, the Two of Cups. Wow, that's a lot, I know. I know, it's confusing and I went to clarify it because I was confused about this. This sudden energy to show like that there's another option here to walk away. Somebody's looking at other choices like what if I don't invest in this? What if I don't put my energy into this? What if I put my energy into other options, other choices? What if I block this attraction that I feel? and control the situation. Huh. It's like, it's like a bunch of what ifs. What if I go towards the situation? What if I go away from the situation? It's like exploring different things. Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it, but somebody out there does. Let's take a look at strength, the final card in this reading, strength. Why is strength here? What does Capricorn need to know, please? I don't know. It's almost like you're saying, I want to work on this, but it, it might just be too hard. I want to heal this, but it might not be able to be healed. I don't know, something. I don't, I'm not sure. Strength, please. Why is it here? The High Priestess. That's your intuition. Followed by the Devil. Unhealthy behavior patterns. strength. It is what it is. Okay. That's why I'm so confused because there's a pattern here and it is kind of all over the place. It's, it makes me question, did I read it wrong? No, I can only tell you the energies that are here. And they are all over the place. It's like, I want a new start. I want a new beginning. I want to feel the joy, the bliss. Here, the reason we're here. Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of independence on one's own. It's like you're exploring all these different options. Uh, it's almost like saying, like, if this is too hard to deal with this conflict, and you say to your, your soul connection here, this Two of Cups, this Queen of Swords says, this is what I require. This is what is needed. I'm willing to make the investment, but it's, it's conflicted. It's almost like your person isn't down with that. So you're like, you know what? I'm hurt. I want this new beginning, but I may have to turn my back and walk away and make a different decision and not invest in this and look at my other options because they're making it difficult. It's like you're it's like your person is saying that perhaps they're not making it easy for you it's like they're making it too hard they're making it too hard that's what it looks like Capricorn they're making it like really really hard for you to come back together to heal this to get past it to get past the wounds I don't know uh, maybe your your person is just a really stubborn person but your intuition is telling you you know what this isn't healthy and I need to call in strength because this is too hard this is your intuition is telling you this isn't healthy you know this high priestess to the devil strength strength you need to be strong and independent here I think that's what this is saying because your person is making this too difficult as hard as you're working really hard on this really hard to communicate really hard to move on to calmer waters but it's like they're making it impossible is what it feels like you just feel so wounded and so hurt over here that 
you just start looking at moving on. That's what it looks like. You did your best. You went to the palace. You got all the expert knowledge and advice on how to handle something. But it, it it's almost like you're the only one I see here working on it. I don't really see your person joining in. They're just making things difficult. So it might be time to move on. That's what we have. We're going to pull an oracle card uh, from the Blue Angel Oracle and get a final message to close off your reading, Capricorn. Spirit, what special message do you have from the Blue Angel Oracle? It'll have a very short paragraph to read. Please stick around because this is what Spirit wants you to hear from the Blue Angel Oracle. What message do you have for the Capricorns that are going through this difficult scenario with the soul connection of theirs that, I don't know, it's being so stubborn that it's, um, no matter what they do, it just looks to be too difficult. There it is. Ascension into light. Ascension into light. It is card number 30. And here we go. Oh, I opened right to the page. How about that? It says, as above, so below. What you perceive to be faults are not faults, but vital aspects of human nature. Qualities that offer important lessons about life and love. At present, you cannot see things clearly because you are stuck within the illusion of good and bad, falsely believing that things are either one or the other. Yet, have you considered that all exists through the grace of oneness? There are no faults or mistakes, only experiences your soul has chosen. Observe life without judgment, and you will see that good and bad are only perceptions. Our judgments are actually fears. And what we fear is our shadow self, which is part of our true nature. Everything has a reason, purpose, and an opposite. In light, there is dark, and in dark, there is light. One cannot exist without the other, and one is not better than the other. To become whole, you must embrace and love the fullness of your nature. Well... I mean, if you're beating yourself up about being all over the place here from trying your damnedest to work this out to possibly taking complete other actions and just walking away, uh, it's totally understandable. Totally understandable. Got to do what's best for you, what's healthiest for you. And you recognize that this soul connection at this point in time is not working with you. It doesn't feel healthy. And when we look at the reason we're here, we have this tower as a reminder. It's shocking information and epiphany that we have. Maybe something we don't want to know because it's destabilizing. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. But it does help you on your evolutionary path to make other choices and you're considering it right through here because you're recognizing that it's not healthy to stay in this I've got to win I've got to work on this I've got to fix this they're my soulmate that kind of thing yeah anyway I hope it helps uh, I thank you guys for being here please add a comment down below if you want if this scenario fits you it is quite confusing but it's it's understandable also at the same time so that's what we've got for you and uh, like share subscribe and I look forward to reading for you guys next time take care